You may subscribe when ready. General. Captain Tarkin. I never thought I'd see you again. And you brought friends. Tarkin, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. Now that you've found us, how do you expect to get us out? If they've locked this fortress down, there's at least ten squads on their way. It's going to be impossible to escape. And not all of it. General Kenobi, I think it's better if we stick together. A stronger force would have a better chance of protecting the information. But surely we'd have more strength in numbers rather than divide us. Of old archive data. It's when things do not go as planned that concerns me. What then? It's when things don't go as planned that we Jedi are at our best. Trust me. I deserve my trust for those who take action, General Skywalker. And I reserve my trust for those who understand gratitude, Captain Tarkin. R2, are you and your battle droids ready to go? I am beginning to admire the design of this fortress. It's rather formidable to evade. Ah, you reveal your short-sightedness. This ordeal only demonstrates how effective facilities like the Citadel are. Pity it ended up in separatist hands, and not ours. He has a point. I am concerned that the Jedi have elected this child to lead the group. I've said with her many times, and I trust her, Captain. Dead end. Let's go! Let's go! Everyone in! I hope somebody tells the droids that. How much longer are we going to wander through this tunnel in the dark? Captain Tarkin, haven't you learned to trust me by now? You may have earned my trust, General Skywalker, but my faith in your comrades is still lacking. I find their tactics ineffective. The Jedi Code prevents them from going far enough to achieve victory, to do whatever it takes to win. The very reason why peacekeepers should not be leading a war. Have I offended you? No. I've also found that we sometimes fall short of victory because of our methods. Well, I see we agree on something. There could be a whole battalion of droids out there! The plan's been compromised! The shuttle's not coming! Throw me a charge! There's a plan B? There's always a backup plan. We need to launch a full forward assault and take that vessel! Which is precisely why we should get aboard that shuttle and use the weapon systems to decimate those droids. We've got to stop him! Echo! Captain Tarkin! Captain Tarkin! Everybody, follow me! This is sheer madness! Keep my- What if your Jedi friends are not there when we arrive? Keep moving and you won't have to worry about that, Tarkin. It's like he's not even grateful we rescued him. And Tarkin feels the Jedi should be relieved from the burden of leading the war effort. That's ridiculous. But we aren't soldiers. We're peacekeepers. The Jedi Code often prevents us from going far enough to achieve victory. Either way, he is a good captain. General Skywalker, I stand by my principles, no matter what. Besides, I needn't worry about my career. I've fallen into favor with the Chancellor. He shall support me. Oh? I happen to know the Chancellor quite well myself. No. Really? Really? There are more squads on their way.
generation. It will die with you! My thanks, Padawan Tenno. Oh, I see you've trained her well. Admiral Coburn, we have the survivors. Recall all fighters. Captain Tarkin and Ahsoka have each memorized half. With all due respect, Master Jedi, I was instructed by Chancellor Palpatine to bring the intel directly to him for debriefing. I promised Master Peel that I would deliver it only to the Council. Hmm. A job well done, General Skywalker. I wish more Jedi had your military sensibilities. Perhaps I can inform the Chancellor of your valor. I'm not sure what to think of your new ally. I think we need people like him. If we sacrifice our code, even for victory, we may lose that which is most important, our honor. part about our job are these boring strategy conferences. The cruiser has not slowed its pace. Have you been able to contact their captain? <laughs> Z9 says he cannot make contact with anyone. We are scanning a large amount of Rhydonium on that ship. It's a bomb. First, Master Yoda must give a eulogy to the fallen Jedi. And we shall all find ourselves here, in time. The bomber has been moved. The Republic military has taken her into custody. <laughs> Clones were killed, which makes this terrorist attack a military matter. An attack on the Jedi is an attack on the Senate. Admiral Tarkin is right. And she should be dealt with. Calm down, Ahsoka. Remember, revenge is not the Jedi way. Nothing will ever change. The Chancellor feels very strongly that the Jedi be removed from as many military matters as possible. You yourselves said that you're peacekeepers, not soldiers. I assure you that he rarely does anything without a strategy. <sighs> In ways, she is still very young. Indeed. We must avoid these neutral systems. Excuse me, Master Jedi. Yes, Admiral. Commander Tano, your presence is requested by prisoner Letta Tumal. The prisoner from the hangar bombing? Why is she asking for Ahsoka? Not exactly sure, but Commander Tano is the only person the prisoner will speak to. Admiral Tarkin. You don't have to tell me any more, Commander Tano. No, there are recorders in every room. Curiously, the sound isn't working on this one. It seems the Jedi she was afraid of was you. You were the only one there. I know that you were upset when this woman was taken into custody by the military. <laughs> I beg to differ. You know that it's very difficult for me to believe. This is a secure facility. We do not have just anyone running about. And if there was someone else, why did you not sense them? Found herself accused of murdering the person responsible for the bombings. After further investigation, there can be little doubt that the clone officers murdered in the escape were killed by none other than Ahsoka Tano herself. She used a Jedi mind trick to convince the clone to open the door and then proceeded to cut him down along with five other clones along the way. The beliefs of the Jedi Council are irrelevant. We deal strictly in facts and evidence, and the evidence points to Padawan Tano being guilty of the attack on the temple and the murder of the Republic officers. This is sedition. 
the Senate requests that Ahsoka Tano be indicted for acts of treason against the Republic. Ah, yes, Jedi tradition. I'm afraid, Master Yoda, that the Senate believes that an internal Jedi trial would seem biased. Therefore, the Senate asks that the Council expel Ahsoka Tano from the Jedi Order so that she may be put to a Republic military tribunal where she will receive more impartial judgment. That would be up to the Council, General, but I would recommend someone outside the Order. The Council will act as they deem necessary. Thank you, Admiral. Prosecution, you may begin your arguments. Former Padawan Tonho, I shall prove that you were the mastermind behind the attack on the Jedi Temple. And that once your accomplices carried out your orders, you eliminated them one by one. When you are found guilty, I ask the court that the full extent of the law be brought down upon you, including penalty of death. Well said, Senator Amidala. However, if she is innocent, then why was she seen conspiring with known separatist terrorist Asajj Ventress? And where is your master? He's trying to find the real murderer. Then maybe he should be looking at you. Barris Offy. Emperor Palpatine's priorities have changed. With the war at an end, the need for future clones is being questioned. Your contracts were with the Republic, which no longer exists. Clone troopers will be needed to maintain order throughout the galaxy. Indeed, a service conscription soldiers could provide at half the cost. I shall be the judge of that, Prime Minister. Tarkin has requested to see more of your squad in action. The value of all clone troopers is being challenged by the Empire. To demonstrate your effectiveness, a combat proficiency test is in order. Take your position. You may begin. Give me more! If the Galactic Empire is to be stronger than the Republic which preceded it, its soldiers must follow suit, switch to live fire, for which you will be fairly compensated. Do it. Tarkin wants to test us. Let's not disappoint him. These are rather unusual tactics. The clones of Experimental Unit 99 have a tendency to veer from standard combat protocol. That remains to be seen. Tell me about Clone Force 99. How many of these enhanced clones do you possess? Five are all that remain. Yet reports indicate they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience and disregard for orders. Then they executed Order 66? Assume nothing. Only the General's death is confirmed. A counter-report filed by one of their own Says the Padawan escaped. Let us see where the loyalty of these clones truly lies. That much we agree on. That was quite an impressive display. Our new empire may have methods which seem a bit unorthodox, but so does this squadron. He claims you are more capable than an army. You may subscribe when ready. We have tracked a group of insurgents to the Onderon sector. They must be dealt with. Separatist force. If you neutralize this grave threat, you will be looked upon most favorably as I assess the needs of the Imperial Army. The Republic fighters. The Empire does not tolerate failure, Sergeant. Yes, the probe droids report was quite detailed. Conspiring with Saw Gerrera. 
I assume you know the punishment for treason. Throw them in the brig. Well, what is his status? Yet he exhibited loyalty to the Empire during their mission. Can you intensify the program? Then proceed. The data shows he's responding favorably to the procedure. Let's see if he stays that way. Governor Tarkin, hope I'm not interrupting. Right on schedule, Rampart. I hear your chain code implementation has been most successful. Indeed. CT-9904 is a top specimen. What is the status of Project War Mantle? On schedule, sir. A strong ruling government requires an increase in soldiers to maintain order throughout the galaxy. There are other ways of producing loyal soldiers. May I present our first elite squad? A partnership such as this could have promise. I believe it will strengthen the future of this burgeoning empire. A tangible test is in order. We need to see them in action. Send the clone and your recruits to Onderon. I want Saw Gerrera's camp found and wiped out. You may subscribe when ready. Let's see if they can succeed where Clone Force 99 failed. It appears your squad is one trooper down. Gerrera was already gone, but the rest of his camp was dealt with. Impressive. The clone commander's new squad has followed through, where his brethren did not. The clone trooper program is a cost-prohibitive relic of the past, but until the time is right, it will continue to serve a purpose. Then I leave this project in your capable hands, Admiral. Thank you, sir. All essential personnel have been removed from Camino. And the chief scientist? Secured. The cloning technology is now firmly under Imperial control. Very good, Admiral. You may fire when ready. I suspect the leak came from a rogue element of clones still within our ranks. A growing number have been questioning their orders. We've been routing them out. I will expect a full briefing on your plan at the summit. You're late, Hemlock. Now that we're all finally here, we can begin. The galaxy is at a critical juncture. Where allegiances were once divided, we must establish a comprehensive strategy for galactic unification to deter dissent and rampant self-interest. Toward that end, Dr. Hemlock, what do you have to report on your advanced science division? And how long will that take? The funding you have requested, Hemlock, is quite substantial. And with more clone troopers being decommissioned, I have found a new purpose for them. Test subjects to aid in my research. I also served with the clones, and found them, at times, to be very unpredictable. Under Jedi leadership, they adopted a concerning level of individuality. And we will deal with them, swiftly and unilaterally, to quell any threat of a clone uprising. Now, Commander Krennic, enlighten us to the status of Project Stardust. Switch all communications to encoded channels, and find them. We will resume momentarily. Take your seat, gentlemen. As you can see, we are perfectly safe. Send in air support to shoot them down. But, sir, in the crossfire... I am aware. Do it! Ah, Grand Moth. 
My visit is hardly an honor, Minister, Thank and I too have been surprised by what's been happening on your little backwater world. In the absence of Governor Price, you have had a single, simple objective, Minister, to protect the Empire's industrial interest here, interests which are vital to our expansion throughout the Outer Rim. But instead of protecting those interests, you have allowed a cell of insurgents to flourish right under your nose. Am I correct? And Agent Callan, have you just stood idly by while this rabble have attacked our men, destroyed our property, and disrupted our trade? Ah, yes, let us not forget the sudden appearance of a Jedi, as if leaping from the pages of ancient history. A shame we don't have someone who specializes in dealing with them, otherwise our problem might be solved. Minister, have you ever met a Jedi? I actually knew the Jedi, not from the pages of folklore or children's tales, but as flesh and blood. And do you know what happened to them? Well, th they died, every last one of them. So you see, this criminal cannot be what he claims to be, and I shall prove it. Gentlemen, sit. I understand you have experience dealing with these insurgents, and your efforts have been less than successful? If your efforts had been successful, we would not be having this little chat. Now, when was the last activity reported? And the details of this attack? Uh, no casualties. Ah, but you see, Commandant, there is something of note in that report. No casualties. Your rebel cell is more principled than others. Cells, factions, tribes, call them what you will. They lack the one thing that would make them a credible threat to the Empire. Unity. While your cell seems uninterested in violence, it does present a specific threat. The Jedi. And he lives up to their reputation. Oh, I doubt that very much. But I am not concerned with his skills as a warrior. I am concerned with what he represents. Or perhaps I should say, I am concerned by what you allow him to represent by failing to stop him. Hope. There are whispers of this alleged Jedi in the streets. In time, such whispers might spark relief in something other than the strength and security of the Empire. And that, gentlemen, is something I cannot have. Make no mistake. From now on, failure will have consequences. Agent Callus, you will dispatch probe droids to every known location of insurgent activity on Lothal. We will discover the whereabouts of these criminals, and we will make examples of them. We believe these are the speeder bikes responsible for the rebel activity near Jalaf. Where was this footage taken? A perfect target for these criminals. We can't risk losing the tower. We should reinforce security. No, let them believe they still possess the element of surprise. Lure them in and we shall be waiting. Inquisitor, I am giving you the opportunity to redeem yourself. Do not disappoint me. And remember, I want this Jedi alive. Well done, Inquisitor. These are the results I expect. So, you are the Jedi in question? We have been called criminals, but we are not. We are rebels. It's only gonna get worse, unless we stand up and fight back. We can't back down just because we're afraid. That's when we need to stand the tallest. You do not know what it takes to win a war, but I do. Now we will discover if you are indeed the Jedi you claim to be. You have wasted enough of my time. You are no doubt unaware that Jedi are trained to resist mind probes. If he is the Jedi he claims to be, I take it you have a solution? The Jedi is no good to me dead. Yes, he does possess the will of a Jedi of old. I recommend we transfer him from Lothal to another location, one that never fails to extract a confession. Transport ship 63378, cleared for docking. We've lost main power. Some kind of pulse detonation in Bay 5. Go to auxiliary power. I've been sending an all-clear message to the rest of the fleet. As soon as we miss an interval, they send reinforcements. And that interval is up now. Can't hold the ship. We need to evacuate, sir. For your safety, we need to leave now. The rebels have escaped, sir. Not to worry, Agent Callus. The Emperor has sent an alternative solution. 
Admiral Thrall, I trust the information you have for me was worth the wait. They wouldn't dare. Oh, believe me, they would. You have my attention. What target were the rebels attack? Where is this fleet massing? A coordinated attack by multiple rebel cells is unprecedented. I want you to capture their leadership. Oh, but a man of your talents will manage. If we are to crush this rebellion, we must make examples of its leaders. As you wish, Governor Tarkin. Your TIE Defender program is at risk. Orson Krennic has been quite persuasive about diverting the funding to his own project, Stardust. In my view, Director Krennic's project has been nothing but expenses and excuses for years on end. If construction of the Defender is to continue, you must make your case directly to the Emperor himself. I have already arranged the meeting. I leave immediately, Moff Tarkin. Most unfortunate about the security breach on Jeddah, Director Krennic. After so many setbacks and delays, and now this. We've heard word of rumors circulating through the city. Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. If the Senate gets wind of our project, countless systems will flock to the rebellion. When has become now, Director Krennic, the Emperor will tolerate no further delay. You have made time an ally of the rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. Failure will find you explaining why to a far less patient audience. The Emperor is awaiting my report. One had hoped that he and Lord Vader might have been here for such an occasion. And I thought it prudent to save you from any potential embarrassment. Your concern's hardly warranted. If saying it would only make it so. That won't be necessary. We need a statement, not a manifesto. The Holy City will be enough for today. So we're in position, ready. Fire! Commence primary ignition. I've placed a weakness deep within the system. A flaw so small and powerful and they will never find it. One blast to any part of it will destroy the entire station. Oh, it's beautiful. I believe I owe you an apology, Director Krennic. Your work exceeds all expectations. I will tell him that his patience with your misadventures has been rewarded with a weapon that will bring a swift end to the rebellion. I will tell him that I will be taking control over the weapon I first spoke of years ago, effective immediately. We stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! I'm afraid the recent security breaches have laid bare your inadequacies as a military director. You think this pilot acted alone? He was dispatched from the installation on Edo, Galen Erso's facility. Sir, Scarif Base, they're reporting a rebel incursion. I want to speak with Director Krennic. He's there, sir. The original plans for this station are kept there, are they not? Prepare for the jump to hyperspace and inform Lord Vader. Lord Vader will handle the fleet. Target the base at Scarif. Single reactor ignition. Yes, sir. You may fire when ready. The Imperial Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. I have just received word that the Emperor has dissolved the Council permanently. The last remnants of the Old Republic have been swept away. The regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. The plans you refer to. I suggest we use it. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. This bickering is pointless. Now, Lord Vader will provide us with the location of the rebel fortress by the time this station is operational. We will then crush the rebellion with one swift stroke. Her resistance to the mine probe is considerable. All systems are operational. Perhaps she would respond to an alternative form of persuasion. I think it is time we demonstrated the full power of this station. Set your course for Alderaan. Governor Tarkin, 
I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now, not after we demonstrate the power of this station. In a way, you have determined the choice of the planet that will be destroyed first. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the rebel base, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. Can't you will prefer another target, a military target? Then name the system! I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. Where is the rebel base? There. You see, Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. What? You're far too trusty. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration, but don't worry. We will deal with your rebel friends soon enough. Yes? She lied. She lied to us. Terminate her immediately. Yes? We've captured a freighter entering the remains of the Alderaan system. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What makes you think so? Surely he must be dead by now. The Jedi are extinct. Their fire has gone out of the universe. You, my friend, are all that's left of their religion. Yes. The princess? Put all sections on alert. If you're right, he must not be allowed to escape. Are they away? They've just made the jump into hyperspace. You're sure the homing beacon is secure aboard their ship? I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. Yes. This will be a day long remembered. The rebel base will be in firing range in seven minutes. We've analyzed their attack, sir, and there is a danger. Should I have your ship standing by? Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Rebel base three minutes and closing. Rebel base one minute and closing. Base 30 seconds and closing. Rebel base in range. You may fire when ready.